Welcome to Tech Straight. Today we are going to be doing a water test on the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch. This is not the Samsung Galaxy Gear. This is the Samsung Gear 2. So this is the new one. It came out on April 11th, 2014. And uh, here it is actually. Um, that's my home screen. And uh, pretty cool watch actually. Uh, a lot of different things it can do. Um, but for now we're just doing a water test. So let's take a look at that. We'll start the stopwatch. One thing I noticed from doing this is that um, with the touch screen when it's wet it kind of confuses the watch a little bit while it's wet so it might actually change while it's in the water and kind of do its own thing for a minute but you can see that the, the stopwatch is running uh, so it is holding up to water of course it's actually rated for one meter in depth up to 30 minutes so this test doesn't really uh, push its limits or anything this is just kind of a little bit of a you know test just to show that it is waterproof uh, but its rating is actually IP67 um, which in relation to water resistance means that it can handle a meter depth for 30 minutes now that is also the rating on the new Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphone uh, so you know if you're looking for a smartphone that can handle um, being in the water um, that would be the one I haven't actually done a water test on one of those yet but hopefully that'll be in the near future and uh, so here you have the Samsung Galaxy Actually, not the Galaxy, it's the Samsung Gear 2. Man, that's hard to get used to because we heard about the Samsung Galaxy Gear for so long. Uh, they've actually dropped the uh, Android operating system with the with the Gear 2. See, it does wig out the touch screen. You can see it's moving around on its own. Uh, but that's just because of the, the water being on the screen. Once you take it out of the water, it'll stop doing that. Uh, but the Samsung Galaxy Gear uh, actually use the Android operating system. Uh, with this, it actually uses a different operating system, uh, Tizen, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so it's a totally different operating system than what the Galaxy Gear had. Um, but the Gear 2 actually has a, a better processor in it. Um, just all around. See, it's actually taking pictures on its own. So with this you know if you're in water it would probably be a good idea to close out the screen like so and that way you know you're not um, randomly taking pictures and stuff so there you have it the Samsung gear to smartwatch uh, is waterproof and does hold up to water um, and it does not stop working you can see getting it out of the water and uh, let me dry the screen off just a little bit and there you can see the um, the screen is actually you know working and let's go back to the stopwatch that way you can see um, looks like it moves some of my icons and stuff wow crazy So yeah, if you put it in water, it's probably a good idea um, to shut the screen down. So that's one thing that we learned from the test is that um, it will kind of go crazy on its own uh, with that touch screen. So you know, keep that in mind. And uh, there you have it. So waterproof. All right, thanks for tuning in to Tech Straight, and there you have the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch held up to uh, some water, and you can see that it's pretty much still wet except for the touch screen. So pretty neat. Pass the test. Till next time, remember, keep your tech straight.